Did you know that Tom Cruise is performing his own death-defying stunts in the new Mission Impossible movie? Christopher McQuarrie, the director of Mission, Impossible, Dead Reckoning Part 1, has claimed that the forthcoming sequel will address a regret from a previous film. The filmmaker, who has directed the last four entries in the popular Mission, Impossible action franchise, spoke in a new interview about him and Cruise being dissatisfied with aspects of the fifth installment, 2015's Mission, Impossible, Rogue Nation. The sequence in question was set underwater. Tom and I are constantly re-evaluating our own work and asking ourselves how we could have done it better, McQuarrie said, in an interview with Collider. McQuarrie and Cruz previously worked together on films including the 2014 sci-fi thriller Edge of Tomorrow, which McQuarrie co-wrote and produced. We've done underwater sequences previously. We've worked underwater in Edge of Tomorrow, and we worked underwater in Rogue Nation, and we left very dissatisfied with those sequences, McQuarrie continued. And we analyze why we were dissatisfied. What were all the factors working against us? The biggest being, not having real knowledge in that area. Everything you're looking at in Dead Reckoning is the application of knowledge from previous sequences. McCory revealed that Dead Reckoning Part 2 will feature ambitious underwater sequences, which require Tom Cruise to hold his breath for long periods of time. According to the director, Cruise was able to hold his breath underwater for up to six and a half minutes. However, McCory said that doing so was physically punishing, adding that he wouldn't recommend it to anybody who doesn't want to make a lifestyle out of it. In a four-star review of Dead Reckoning Part 1 for The Independent, Clarice Lowry wrote, Mission, Impossible is exactly the sort of franchise in which people simply roll their eyes when the bomb they're trying to detonate turns out, of course, to be a nuclear one. That lack of ponderousness is embedded bone deep into Dead Reckoning, and how returning director Christopher McQuarrie chooses to operate. The action sequences are consistently dynamic and always adapted to their environment, a shootout in a sandstorm focuses on stealth and precision, while a Vespa chase down Rome's many staircases is all cartoon chaos. It all culminates in an absolutely insane stunt in which Cruz drives a motorcycle off a cliff and then parachutes down onto a moving train. You will leave dead reckoning the same way you always do, wondering how Cruz could possibly outdo himself in the next one, until, inevitably, he does. Subscribe now to stay updated with the latest movie news and behind-the-scenes footage.